Hello everybody, today we're going to look at Happy Death Day to You, written and directed by Christopher Landon and starring Jessica Roth and Israel Broussard. This picks up right after the events of Happy Death Day, and somehow the curse that befell Tree has been passed on to Carter's roommate Ryan, played by Fee Vu, and a killer is now after him. And yes, the killer is still wearing that creepy as hell baby mask because this college did not choose a good mascot. Naturally, they try to help him, but through a wacky turn of events, Tree somehow gets caught in a time loop again. And that is about as much as I dare tell you because almost any further details at all will involve spoilers. As someone who really liked Happy Death Day, I was very cautious about this one because I honestly could not think of anything they could possibly do with the sequel. I didn't think Happy Death Day needed a sequel. And of all the routes they possibly could have taken, I think the science fiction route is the one I least expected. This is basically Groundhog Day crossed with Back to the Future, which of course they name drop. And the sequel has a lot of what I liked about the original. It is a very, very silly movie, and it knows it, and it has a lot of fun with its premise. And it even takes a few shots at itself, like when the characters point out how creepy their college mascot is. That mascot might even be creepier than Gritty, and that is saying something. And in addition to the silliness, there are quite a few legitimately emotional moments as well, because, well, spoilers. And Tree is once again on an emotional roller coaster throughout the film. But it plays out a bit differently this time, as the events of the time loop don't quite match. Because, well, again, spoilers. This is a really difficult movie to talk about, because I don't want to ruin anything, but gah. Jessica Roth is clearly having a lot of fun here, and who could blame her? Likewise for Rachel Matthews, who is back as the sorority princess Danielle. And man, she is frighteningly good at playing that character. I honestly think she was my favorite part of the movie. It's the kind of character who seems like she genuinely wants to be a good person, but she just really, really sucks at it, and it's a lot of fun to watch. If there was anything that disappointed me about this movie, it's that it often seemed to be avoiding the scares in favor of more comedy. And while it is a very funny movie, I thought this was sometimes to its detriment. They even work this into the plot. Basically, Tree decides that waiting for the killer to offer every day is just gonna get tiresome and also very painful. So she decides to have a bit of fun with it and just keeps offing herself every day. Sure, she still has to die, but it is less stressful than getting murdered. And some of the deaths are very creative, and they do pay homage to Groundhog Day, of course. And the skydiving scene is worth the price of admission alone. I can't say any more without spoiling it, but holy shit, that was great. Overall, I would have preferred a bit more suspense and a few more scares, but still, I like the direction they went with this one. And based on a mid credit scene... They are not done, and they are about to go off the fucking rails if they get to make a third movie. If you like the first movie, you will probably dig this one as well. If you haven't seen the first one, while I don't know if it's absolutely necessary, I think it would be best to watch the first movie ahead of time, and then, if you like what you see, give the sequel a watch. And that's it for Happy Death Day to You. Till next time, take care.